Hey guys, it's me, Greg. Today we're going to talk about weighing your Green Eagle. There's a couple different ways you want to weigh your Green Eagle. One is so that you can see what your center of gravity is. And then of course the second way, and most importantly, is the weight for the FAA. As you can see, I've got my Green Eagle sitting under a gantry crane. Right now, that box right there is my wing that came back from getting certified and inspected and all that. So the box will add a couple pounds, but it's no big deal. So the first measurement we're going to take is when you rig your Green Eagle to your hang points. You're only going to use two straps, one on each side of the hang points. That third strap there, I'll talk about in a little bit, you're not going to use that. Uh, what you want to do is, you don't need your wing for a center gravity check. You're going to get inside your Green Eagle. You're going to make sure if you have anything that you fly with, for example, I have my reserve chute up here. I wear heavy boots, which is going to put weight up front. You know, we're, we're checking for angle like this. You know, the back is going to be heavier. So you need to be seated, seated, uh, seated inside. You'll lift it up, you know, and then you'll start checking these pins. So this is pin hole number six. I'll lift it up and see what angle I'm at in the front. Ideally, you want to be about 10, 12% of lift in the front. Once I get that, a friend's telling me what my angle is, I'll set it down, I'll go to the fifth pin, the fourth pin, maybe the seventh pin. I'm gonna check all these pins and see which gives me the best angle of center of gravity on my machine. So once you have your center of gravity done, then the next step is you want to make sure you put this third strap on because now you're not in the machine and when you lift your eagle up you want to make sure that it's lifting up straight. So we'll come over here, lift it up off of the ground. I do have my wing in the box. I have my battery. Some people say FAA doesn't care about the battery. I think they do. Um, but I've got my wing. I've emptied the gas tank. So it's the weight of the Green Eagle that includes your wing in order to make sure that you're underweight. So you want to lift it up slow, make sure that it's not hitting any of the riggings, not hitting your lights or anything else. And once you, oops, get it off the ground, you only need to take it a couple inches off the ground. So now the first weight that you're going to get is this weight. This is the weight of your bird and your wing with an empty gas tank. Once you do that, then you can add like two gallons of gas, get that weight, add five gallons of gas, get that weight. So you'll know exactly what you are. Dry weight, two gallons of gas, and five gallons of gas. By the way, back to the center of gravity test, when I check my center of gravity, I usually fly with a full tank of gas. Um, so I have a full tank of gas. If you normally fly with you know, half a tank of gas, put a half a tank of gas in it, do your center of gravity, because that's gonna add weight to the back. Once I've got this done, now I know what the FAA wants. They're all happy. I know the weight with the bird and the wing. Now for my own, I also fly with the reserve. So I want to know what my all up weight is. So I'm going to take my reserve and I'm going to throw that in there and then check and see what it is. Then I'm going to put five gallons of gas in there and check and see what the weight is. Then I'm going to put my communications helmet and my radio in there and any other instrument that I carry in my boots that I wear because boots are heavy and I'm going to put that in there. In other words, I'm going to get my all up weight. My all up weight of the machine, the wing, the reserve, the helmet I wear, the instruments I use, the five gallons of gas, the heavy boots I wear, if you wear a jacket, if you have any other thing you put on there, you know, you want to know. Um, and the reason for this is, is a lot of times you're going to be a lot heavier than you think you are. You know, you may be wanting to go down to that from a 33 meter wing to a 29 meter wing. But after you really find out how much you weigh all up, you might say, you know what? I'm pushing it a little bit. Let's not go down to that 29 meter wing. Let's stay with the 33 meter wing or go with a larger wing. So I hope this video helped you out. Once again, just to recap, you're going to use two straps. When you do your center of gravity, you're going to check various holes, lift yourself up, check a hole, set it down, check another hole, lift it up until you find where you're about 10 to 12 percent of an upward angle in the front. You're going to make sure that if you have anything to the front or heavy boots 
or whatever you wear that it's up there or anything else. For the FAA, you're going to check your weight of machine with no gas and your wing only. And then for yourself, you're going to check it with gas, wing, reserve chute, instruments, etc., etc. So I hope this helped you out. Um, fly safe. Make sure that you know what you're doing when you're up there, and you know, and knowing your weight and your center of gravity is a big part of safe flying. So have a great day. Bye.